Okay. Looks like we got a good day, good day coming towards us. We've got things going on. That's new. That's great. I got some news for you. I actually just got my uh, channels linked to um, Rumble that are here on YouTube. Doesn't change anything. YouTube's still got their crazy policies. They'll still cut videos out, but if they don't, it'll still be up on Rumble. If they do, the videos will still be up on Rumble, so you should go over there and find the channels that I've got. One of them's just like this channel here. It says uh, George Laffrey on it, and the other one is News with George, which is also here on YouTube, but it's changed. They're... Um, I can't even see. The lights are so bright. They're uh, over there on on um, Rumble. It's news with George Lawfrey, not just news with George. So anyway, we got some uh, new movies to talk about down here. Uh, it's still snowing and raining outside. But that's okay. We don't really care about that. We got something we can do with no problems whatsoever in my... Damn, microphone is loose, and I don't like them loose. And I don't know where I want to put it, so we'll just put it there and see what happens. Anyway, so we're going to talk about uh, a musical comedy film. It's got some action and some fun in it, and actual, the original, the one and only, the Blues Brothers. It's kind of a funny film. These guys... Uh, form a band, they run from the police, they do all kinds of shows, they need to get, uh, what is it, $5,000 from, or they need to make $5,000 to pay the taxes on a church they support. <coughs> it's where they grew up, apparently. Uh, John Leeds and Dan Aykroyd uh, are in this film. He's also the writer of the stupid film. It's kind of funny because they do um, rhythm and blues. They run all over the country, pissing off cops, chasing cops, getting his brother all upset. And that's all they're after is just to pay the bill from from the, from the thing. And they do country western shows. They lose money in a couple shows. They, they get um, all kinds of other stuff going on. They do all kinds of tricks and stuff to get away from cars and... Um, they, the, one of the, they escape from one, one, um, gig, I guess you want to call it one show through tunnels, uh, electrical tunnels underground. And then, uh, one of them, um, John Bullish, he, he runs into his, um, ex-girlfriend or ex-wife I can't remember what they called her but that was funny they why does that side of the green screen always have fun yeah that's a little better seems like it's always a little dark over there yeah that could be it too I don't want to mess with it right now I do want to mess with it but I don't want to mess with it so anyway, they, they escape through there, and then he meets up with his ex-wife, and they roll around in the mud and the sewer, whatever's in the bottom of that electrical cage, and the rest of the Blues Brothers take off and go to the last show in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. And then they get magic spells put on them, and they do a whole concert, and then they end up on stage at the end of the whole concert, and then they forget where they're at, and they get to do another whole concert. Mm. I'm still short on these films because it's kind of hard. Anyway, the church was located in Chicago, so they tore up the, the the roads from Chicago to Louisiana doing blues, country, and rock and roll, and just about everything else they can get so they can get a a good film. Now, I really like these 80s movies. They did pretty good. I really do like them. Of course, I probably grew up with I grew up with them. But this one, these films, they don't, they're, they're considered today, they're low-budget films to, for by today's standards, but they are high-budget films by the standards of when they came out. Now, this one came out in uh, 1980. So, they did a 
you know, for not really having a whole lot of uh, digital equipment and special effects and shooting on um, VHS tapes, cassette tapes, 35 millimeter, and having to run, run, record the sound separately from the video, they did a pretty good job. So the the whole thing, the whole the whole the whole reason for the for them running around and you know not having to drive. Oh well, yeah, one of them, one of the Blues Brothers was stopped after picking up the other one, and um, the other one got out of jail. Was stopped by the cops. They run his license, and he was wanted in three states, and his driver's license was expired three or four times over and he runs from the cops at the beginning of the show and and that was kind of funny because that's how it started the whole action series or action hero series or action scenes in this movie now it was funny all the way through because it, it didn't really uh, didn't really um it was really funny but there was a lot of action this one they didn't use the car as a submarine they tried to use it as an airplane and, and they picked up the car because they had a Cadillac. They sold the Cadillac. They picked up the the car that they put um, when they when they were doing things. They put microphones and stuff on top, and you know they had lots and lots of fun doing this. The, we had the the old battered Blues Brothers police car. You know they've got that in the museum someplace now, but they were cr criminals. That was fun. It was really fun how they how they put the whole plot out. I suggest you go find it and watch the whole thing for yourself and tell me what you think in the comments. Because I'd like to find out what you actually think about the movie. Now these Blues Brothers, you know, they they, they got along pretty good. They did a lot of fun things. And um, the one they picked up in the car, he was looking for the Cadillac, and he didn't like the police car because it was a police car. He threw the cigarette ladder out. And then they showed him, then they took the car over a bridge, a drawbridge. Bridge was up, car went over the top, which is a pretty good scene. You know, most movie makers have to do that at least once. I don't know how many cars they destroyed doing that, but I imagine they have two or three. Car went over the top of the bridge, and you know the the guy started liking it after he realized it had lots of horsepower. It may have been ugly, but it had police special motor, engine, transmission, suspension at the time, which is probably not true. They probably just mocked it up, but you know that's what they said in the movie. And they they did um, lots of stuff, you know, lots of fun stuff on this movie, and they it seems like it seemed like they had a good time making it. Then they had to, uh, yeah, the mystery woman turned out to be the wife. So anyway, this thing was made. Let's get close. Let's wind her down here a little bit. By Universal Pictures. And it came out on June 20th, 1980, which is a good movie. That was a good date movie. I saw this one in the theaters, by the way. That gives you some idea how old I am or how old you should think I am. Yeah, we're here at 152. We're doing all right. Then uh, we're, uh, this thing ran 133 minutes. Um, it was United States English where it was released. It was English language. And the budget for this film was a big $27.5 Just really big budget. At the box office, it made $115.2 and you know these are these are, these old classic movies. You know that's pretty good. Doubling, almost a little over doubling what you spent on it. That's pretty good for for an older movie. I mean, they had lots of fun making it, and it seemed like they enjoyed it. And they run around, you know, the soul food restaurants and all those places where they they did all that fun stuff was just, you know. Really, really, completely interesting how they how they put all this together, all the advertisement they put into it, and actually didn't turn out to be a a film that had too many too many major politics, and it was just clean fun. That's kind of probably why I like it. But you know, what do I know? I'm kind of crazy anyway. 
Yeah. I am getting a little bleed over here. I don't like that. That's okay. We'll survive another day to do it again. So anyway, we'll see you with the next video. So be careful, be safe, and we'll talk to you later. Bye now.